I-S-U-P-K. One West, 125th Street, Harlem, New York, under commanding General Yohanna. The ISUPK is not affiliated with any religious group or organization. Right. What we are out here to tell you today is that your Christian pastors have been lying to you. Right. Your right. Christian pastors is not letting you know the truth according to the Bible. Right. According to the Bible, Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians are the 12 lost tribes of the nation of Israel. Right, right. You are the true Jews according to this Bible. Right. You are the Lord's chosen people. What we need to understand is that the Lord gave us laws, commandments and statutes to follow. Right, right. But our religious leaders will not let us know that we need to follow the, the most high laws, commandments and statutes. The book of Jeremiah 16 and verse 11. What? Then shalt thou say unto them, Because your fathers have forsaken me, Saint the Most High. You hear what? Our religious leaders is not telling us that we ought to keep the Lord's commandments and statutes of the Most High. Our forefathers have forsaken the Most High. They are not keeping the Lord's commandments and statutes. Go ahead, read. Saint the Most High, and have walked after other gods. They have what? Walked after other gods. Our forefathers have walked after other gods. Right. Good. Good. And have served them. And have what? And have served them. Go ahead. And have worshipped them. Go ahead. And have forsaken me. And have not kept my law. Our forefathers did not keep the laws, commandments, and statutes of the Most High Power. Right. What our Christian leaders is not going to tell us is that we, Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, to be in right standing with the Most High, we need to keep His laws. Right. We need to keep His laws, commandments, and statutes so that we will be above all nations upon the face of the earth. Right. Right. We need to keep His laws so that we, as black people, will be in a better condition than we in. Right? We need to keep the most high laws so that blacks will be in a better position than they are here in Trinidad. Right. Right. We will be in a better position in the ghettos. But our religious leaders fail to tell us we need to keep these laws. Right. They tell us, plead the blood of Jesus. They tell us, we need to sing. They tell us, go ahead and pray, brother. Go ahead and pray, sister. But hear what the Lord has to say. Go ahead, read. The book of Jeremiah 23 and verse 1. Go ahead. Woe be unto the pastors. Read that again. Woe be unto the pastors. Woe in the scriptures means death or destruction. Right. So the most is letting you know death or destruction to you Christian leaders, right. to you Christian pastors. Go ahead, read that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture. That destroy and scatter Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians by telling them the laws of the Most High is done away with. When the laws of God is still in effect, we need to keep the laws, commandments, and statutes of the Most High. Right, right. And we will see there are different laws that we need to keep. Go ahead, read. Say the Most High, therefore, Thus 
send the Most High, what? God of Israel, against the pastors what? that feed my people. Against the pastors that feed blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indian knowledge according to this Bible. Go ahead, read. Ye have scattered my flock. You have done what? Ye have scattered my flock. How did these Christian pastors scatter the Most High flock? By not telling us we have a dietary law in the Bible. We can't eat as we please. Right. Right. Our religious leaders is not telling us that we cannot eat pork, crab, shrimp, and lobster. Right. Right. They are not telling us that we are not supposed to be homosexuals right. or lesbians. Right. Right. They are not telling us that we are not supposed to be celebrating Easter, Christmas, and all these pagan religions and right. holidays. Right. We are not supposed to be in the Christian church. Our religious leaders are guiding us astray. Go ahead, read. I have driven them away. And they have driven away the most sized people. But the Lord is letting you know, as blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, through the priests and prophets in the ISUPK, you need to come back and keep your laws, commandments, and statutes. You need to know who you are. You are the true biblical Jews. You are the Hebrew Israelites of this Bible. The book of Matthew 5 and verse 17. Now what we're going into is to let you know what Christ said out of Christ's mouth. Not out of a Christian pastor's mouth because he's lying and telling you that the laws of God are done away. You don't need to keep the laws. But let's say it from Christ's mouth in the same Bible that your Christian pastor is reading from. Go ahead, read. Take not what? Take not. Christ is telling you, don't think, don't get it twisted. Don't think the opposite of what I am here to tell you. Christ is saying, take not. Go ahead. That I am come to destroy the law. Christ is saying, don't get it twisted. He has not come to destroy the law. Go ahead, read. Or the prophet. Christ did not come to tell you, you can eat pork, crab, shrimp, and lobster. Right. Christ didn't come for you to be a homosexual. Right. Or you to sell drugs to your brother. Right. Christ didn't come for that. Christ said, all the prophets, he didn't come to do away with what the prophets have all have said. Right. Go ahead, read. I am not come to destroy. Christ is saying out of his own mouth that he has not come to destroy. Go ahead. But to fulfill. But he has come to fulfill the law. To fulfill the law is to make it legit, to make it real. Christ came to let you know that this law in this Bible that you need to keep, this is what will profit you as a black, Hispanic, and Native Indian man. Right. This is what you need to keep. So when Christ said, do not, do not eat pork, crab, shrimp, and lobster, that is what you need to do. When he said, don't sell drugs to your brother, that is what you need to do. Right. When he said that we will be above all nations upon the face of the earth by keeping his laws, commandments, and statutes, that is what is going to happen. Right. That's right. But our religious leaders, it's not going to tell us that right. because they like us, they like seeing us at the bottom of society. Right. Right. Our religious leaders like seeing us being gone down in the streets. Our religious leaders like seeing blacks and Hispanic in all these ghettos in Trinidad being gone down by each other. Right. That is what these Christian leaders like to see. Right. But Christ is letting you know he has not come to do away with the law, but to fulfill it, right. to make it legit, to let you know these laws this laws inside this Bible is the real deal. Right. If um, Matthew 5 and 18. What? The book of Matthew 5 and verse 18. What? For verily I say unto you, Christ is saying, go ahead, read. Tell heaven and earth pass away. Christ, Christ is letting you, till you look up in the sky, you can't see the stars, you can't see the sun, you can't see the moon. You can't see the clouds. Christ is letting you, letting you know. Until you look up there, you can't see this thing. Go ahead. Not one jet. Not one what? Not one jet. Not one dot in this Bible. Go ahead. Oh, one tickle. Or not one portion of the T in this Bible, in this law. Go ahead. In no wise shall pass from the law. It shall in no wise pass from the law. Right. Christ is letting you know as blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, you are to keep the laws of the Most High God. That's right. right. You are to keep the laws of the Most High Power. That's right. Let us hear one law 
that the most I'm letting you know as Black Hispanics and Native Indians that you're supposed to keep. Give me the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 17. The book of Deuteronomy 17 and verse 14. This is one of the law that Christ is letting us know that we as Black Hispanics and Native Indians are to keep. Right. This is what we need to keep. But our religious leaders of today will not let us know that we have to keep this law. This is only one. Go ahead, read. The book of Deuteronomy 17 and verse 15. Go ahead. Thou shalt in any wise set him king over thee. The Lord is letting you know you shall in any wise set a king over you. Right. This is a law that black Hispanics and Native Indians are to follow. But when our religious leaders do not teach us these things, we run up in PNM, we run up in UNC, we run up in all these polit political um, drives, and we don't know that the Lord is against that. Right. Hear what the Lord has to say. Take it from the top. The book of Deuteronomy 17 and 15. Go ahead. Thou shalt in any wise Set him king over thee. The Lord is letting you, letting you know you shall set him king over thee. Go ahead, read. Whom the Lord God shall choose. Go ahead. One from amongst thy brethren. You are supposed to set up a king over you from one among your brethren. Right. Who the Lord shall choose. Right. You are not supposed to be choosing your leaders. Right. You are not supposed to be running up in these political um, drives and all these things to set rulers over you. Right. This is against the Lord. Right. But your religious leaders will not let you know that. Go ahead, read. Thou mayest not set a stranger. The Lord is letting you know you shall not set a stranger. A stranger, according to this scripture, is someone who is not of your nation. Right. Who is not of your race. Right. The Lord is letting you know you shall not set a stranger Go ahead. over thee, Go ahead. which is not of thy brother. You are not supposed to set up no other person that is not of your nation to be king over you, right. who is not your brother. Right. So when you run around parading with these political parties trying to put a ruler over you so that they can come and toss comes to you, the Lord is against that. The Lord is letting you know you are not supposed to set a king over you who is not from your people. The Lord is only about blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. What we need to know as blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians is that the most side is here for you. But your religious leaders will make you feel and make you think that we are supposed to be among everybody, that the Lord is for everybody. The, the Christian leaders and pastors is letting you feel that when you go to church, that is your safe haven. That when you jump up and dance and you jump up and sing, that you love God. But according to the scriptures, we will see how you as Black Hispanics and Native Indians are to love your God, right. are to love your power. Right. The book of First John 2 and 3. Right. And hereby we do know that we know him. And when we jump up and sing in the Christian church, we out here on the streets will let you know how you will know your God. How you supposed to know your power. This is how you know your God. Go ahead, read. If we keep his commandments. If we do what? Keep his commandments. This is how you know that you know your God. If you keep his commandments, right. not by jumping up and down in the Christian church and singing, not by beating tambourines, not by beating drums, not by pleading the blood of Jesus. That does not let you know if you know the most high power. Go ahead. Right. He that said, I know him. He that do what? He that said, 
I know him. So he that said, he knows God. He knows Jesus Christ. Go ahead. And keep it not his commandments. And does not keep the commandments of the Most High God. Like what we just read, setting a king over you that is from another nation. Go ahead, read. Is a liar. Is a what? Is a liar. So when you say you know God and you do not keep his Lord's commandments and statutes, the Most High is letting you know you are a liar. Right. And your Christian pastors are liars. Right. They are not letting you know that you are to come back and keep the Lord's commandments and statutes right. of right. the Most High power. Right. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 20. We must know, as Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, what we need to do to be in right standing with the Most High. We are to run and get away from these religious institutions. Right. They are not teaching you what you need to know. Right. Go ahead, read. The book of Deuteronomy 10 and verse 12. Go ahead. And now Israel. And what? And now Israel. And now you so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Go ahead. What do the Lord thy God require of thee? This is what the Most High God requires from you. Not what your Christian pastor is saying. Not what your religious and political leaders are saying. This is what the Lord God requires from you. Right. So-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Go ahead, read. But to fear the Lord but thy what? God. But to do what? To fear the Lord thy God. You are to fear the Most High God. And fearing the Most High God is not running in a corner and hiding. Fearing the Most High God, showing your fear towards the Most High, it's coming back and do what he tells you to do. Keeping his laws, commandments, and statutes. Go ahead. Right. To walk in all his ways. You need to fear the Most High and walk in all his ways. Don't celebrate Christmas. Don't celebrate Easter. Stop eating pork, crab, shrimp, and lobster. Stop selling drugs to your brothers. Go ahead, read. And to love him. And to do what? And to love him. And you ought to love the Most High God. Go ahead, read. And to serve the Most High thy power. And we are to serve the Most High God. Go ahead, read. With all thy heart. Go ahead. And with all thy soul. Go ahead. To keep the commandments. To do what? To keep the commandments. And this is what we need to do, so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. We are to keep the commandments of the Most High Power. Right. This is what we need to do as a people. This is what we need to do to rise above all nations upon the face of the earth. This is what we need to do to, to stop being in the lowest conditions in all these ghettos throughout Trinidad and Tobago. Right. We need to keep the laws, commandments, and statutes of the Most High God. This is what your Christian pastors will not teach you in the Christian church. You need to come out of the Christian church and get yourself in the ISUPK under commanding General Leana. Trying to find something to follow Had loyalty, every man tried to borrow Felt pain, and a lot of sorrow Got betrayed, so packed, I didn't even have my heart broke Living confused, about to lose hope Cops got me on the side of the road Like a sideshow, need an antidote before I croak Now I'm setting fire to rhythm man blues Call this guitar smoke Rebel with no cause, trying to find direction The world got me vexed Picked up a bad lick of habit that's already turned from oppression Felt like my life was on fire trying to find an exit Now look, 10 G's plus a good wreck Sometimes a follower is a soldier Trying to find a good shepherd Plus when you in hell, how do you excel? With them the breath of life, I don't believe in fairy tale. Listen well to what I tell No call it can cause pain Something that a rebel knows very well Can't you tell I was sent from the Lord?